quickly. Atlanta Fed um, economic forecast uh, puts real GDP growth for the second quarter at 0.0% 0 .0, uh, now. Um, with the United States potentially on the knife's edge of a 70s style stagflationary kind of period, um, I'm curious about kind of your policy preferences. Um, do you expect that the administration will prioritize stimulus to get growth higher um, and curtail unemployment, or do you think that you will you will continue to favor deficit reduction to get inflation down? I mean, look, the president laid out in his um, in his uh, Wall Street Journal op-ed very recently what he's doing, the points that he's taking uh, to to make sure that we are fighting inflation, attacking inflation. Uh, one of them is giving the Fed its independence uh, and uh, and allowing them to deal with inflation under pur their purview. They have the best monetary policies uh, to do that, and so we want to give that independence there. And of course, he has taken actions, as I said early on in uh, in, in the beginning of the briefing on things that will help uh, ease that ease the cost uh, for families. We understand gas prices are high. We understand the president understands what it means to have uh, food prices. Again, that's connected to Putin's war uh, uh, against uh, Ukraine and them attacking another country's sovereignty. That's what we're seeing uh, uh, happening there. And so we are going to continue to do everything that we can. We feel that we are in a uh, transition right now from a uh, economic uh, uh, historic economic growth recovery and so going into that transition with stability and steady uh, steady growth uh, we feel that's going to help with inflation so we're going to just focus on uh, the points that the president laid out at no point in your rambling incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought 